I'm Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. Welcome or welcome back for our longtime viewers. We appreciate you very much. Now today we're going to talk about a topic we've covered before on the concept of solar steaming where we're using the heat from the sun and some material to conduct the heat, add water, make steam. Now we did one on the big solar tower with these huge solar fields of mirrors. Um, the graphite hockey puck, if you remember that one. If not, go find it. A little graphite hockey puck that conducts heat as well. This week, we're looking at this thing called the black tulip. Very interesting. Researchers at the University of Texas, led by Emma Fan, figured out that they can conduct heat um, and create steam with this black paper coated with polypyrrole, uh, which does a really good job conducting um, solar heat. Issue is that they couldn't carry enough water in the paper, basically, to make it efficient. After toying with a few shapes, Fan drew inspiration from a book she read in high school called The Black Tulip. So she reconfigured the paper, literally, in the shape of a tulip and found out that it held enough water to make it a very efficient and effective solar steaming device. So effective that in an hour, they can convert half a gallon of water into steam. Uh, and it uses about 10 square feet of this paper shaped into the tulip. It costs two cents to make. So you know this thing is going to get some production and adaptations as we see it. And who knows, you might be seeing these fields of black tulips everywhere making steam. But I think the implications for uh, countries that don't get pure water are huge because as the polypyrrole paper makes, uh, converts water into steam, all the impurities stay behind. So not only does it make steam, you can also use it for water purification because you can capture that steam condense it back into water and drink it because it's now pure. Pretty cool. So if you go out and Google Emma Fan Black Tulip Solar Steaming, any combination of those, you'll get the hits. We'll try and put some links down below for you though in the description. Before you do that, you know you gotta go Google us because each and every week we're gonna put content out there for you to help to make you a little better and help you make you understand the steam industry just a little bit better than you did before. Thanks for joining us, see you next week.